Speciesistic language. What does speciesistic language? Speciesistic language is any language that discriminates or bring um, or suggest violence against members of other species. An example of speciesistic language is that we often, specifically in English speaking countries, refer to like the US, refer to call the cops or people we don't like, pigs, when pigs are beautiful, smart and will absolutely not be an angry mob who harass you for no good reason. Yeah, some people are attacked in the forest by swines. But that most of the time is not the fault of the swine, just because the people let them be afraid of them. Or they are come too close to their children. And the, the feral pig thinks uh, that you want to hurt their children. Because they don't know you. And People, legal people will kill their children and them themselves. Think about it, people. Furthermore, another example of speciesistic language is when people say, I kill three birds with one stone. If you know that um, saying. You can better say, for example, uh, three and um, three birds with one key, or something like that, as a replacement for that violent sentence in that scenario. And there are many other examples of this kind of language as well. If you want that I do a video about any sentence you know, and um, then you have to put them in the comments because I do know any sentence you know. People using your language, then I will do that, but then you have to first put it in the comment section. But here is why I think this have to change. First, words have power. Second, you may be thinking, you don't do this in real life and just are mean words. But in the subconscious minds, this will still constant an idea in our mind that we are better than the other animals. Because if we use the same sentence and place our species in it, for example, say, kill three people with one bullet instead of kill uh, three birds with one stone. I think you want to say that that is a pretty sick, twisted sentence. Or, there is one way to rape a woman instead of there is one way to skin a fox. It's not one way to skin a fox, or you can, can you also say there is one. There's not one way to Troy to find the, sta the city Troy, or there's one. It's not one way to to ride to London or something like that. If you understand what I mean, if you want to say I'm using settings to well. Uh, Replace that with. Be a little bit creative. Instead of use the same sentence of all the bigots on the world. If you go back in history, you will find out that slave masters also have a very despicable sentence and sayings that we today find uh, abhorrent. Furthermore, 
you say that maybe is silly because animals don't understand our language. Is that a good reason to insult uh, members of your species who are deaf? Cannot hear? Just because they cannot hear you? No. Is that a good idea? Because they speak not your language? Or another example. Is it okay to insult and uh, call uh, people who live in the rainforest fuckers and other uh, and other uh, curse words just because they don't speak your language? <laughs> Think about that. Before you say something ridiculous from Ah, oh, animals cannot speak your language so we can call them whatever we want. Another example of um, our speciesistic language is that we often refer to animals as it instead of he or she. As if there are things and not living beings. I think we should stop with referring to animals as, as they are or it actually. And refer to them when it comes to male animals as he and female animals as she. It is not the cow's children are stolen. Now it is the mother's cow where her children are being stolen from when they come to the dairy industry. Because, surprise, surprise. Female animals have to be pregnant to give milk. And that's the reason the dairy industry steals newborn babies from their mother. So, a baby bobby calf, by the way, also a euphemistic word for one baby calf, specifically a um, baby milk calf. Females are called harvests. I've been stolen from her and then placed in a concentration camp. And then, four to five months, they are being executed for veal. And a percentage of the harvests are also killed for veal. But the majority um, is placed for uh, replacing their mother when they are on an old age. Police people. I say always, peace begins on the dinner table. But I think it is also noble when we learn to speak more effective. Like we mean it that we want to give animals moral significance in our society and one of the reasons and one of the ways we can show that is if we try to change our language a little bit to be more in line with our actions I think we will be taken more serious when we do that now Place your questions in the description below. Forget not to subscribe and hit the bell. And um, go vegan. Stop making excuses for animal cruelty if you are not already vegan. Please. When darkness and light become one, the reality splits in a way and the truth becomes visible.